Hello guys. Firstly, let me introduce my friend, Jen. Oh my god, it is so loud. Why? Every time I try to turn this on and stop. I think New York in general <laughs> is so loud. Yeah, so right now we're going to Chelsea Market because this one's been trying to go to a different coffee shop every day. Yes. Because there's so many scattered around the city and they're all really cute. So if you haven't, oh my god, my forehead looks huge. So if you haven't been here, it's like basically this marketplace that's full of food. There's like an artisan flea at the end where like local designers showcase their stuff. And they also have a lot of sample sales, like rag and bone and stuff. Oh my god, look at these stores. Yeah. Jen Instagram and wait, what's your IG? Plug yourself. <laughs> the best tacos ever are here. It's next to this mock bar place, which is like Korean fusion. So you walk to the end of Chelsea Market and then you'll see this artisan fleas. For lunch, we decided to go to Very Fresh Noodles and then tried their milk tea. And we got some, what is it? Dan Dan Mian. Lunch time. So this dan dan mian is like actually really spicy and it's really filling and quite oily. Don't expect actual tissues. They give you um, paper bags. <laughs> I think it's about 11. Coming home pretty late today and just received my order of Home Chef because I haven't done any grocery shopping so I thought I'd try out this like, it's one of those meal subscription services. Every week it's like a different menu. Let's see what we're going to have for dinner tonight. We have teriyaki chicken thighs with smoked almonds, steak stripped chimichangas, maple glazed pork tenderloin. Oh, burger! Japanese barbecue burger. Oh my gosh. Is there even fries? There's fries. Guys, there's russet potato fries. Seeing as it's already like almost 11 o'clock tonight and I'm starving, let's just go for the easiest one, which I think is the steak strip chimichangas. On like each of the back of the photo, you have like the instructions on how to make it. Normally, if I were to come back this late and have to cook something, it would be this guy. And I think I've done that too many times in a row, so trying to break the bad habit of having crappy food. And the first step I thought was to like try out these meal service things because actually coming from Australia, like this is a luxury. And it's actually, I worked it out, it's probably cheaper for me to do this every week rather than go to Trader Joe's and buy groceries because last time I went there I spent about like you know between 60 to 90 bucks and that only lasts me about a week as well for some random reason. So this is how it comes on the inside. Ice, ice baby. Ding 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 ding. Each bag is for each meal. Uno, dos, tres. Wait what's the other one? Oh, it's here. Quattro! I'm sweating! Carrying this up four flights of stairs was like no joke. On the side, it asks you how many days you want to like have meal sent. And because on an average, I'm only home for like three or four days out of the seven days to eat at home anyway, I didn't want it to be like overboard. It's just for me and my roommate. And my roommate decides to go to Japan this week, so I just have eight servings of food to eat by me, myself, and I. <laughs> but whatever. This 
can go with all the other thousand of boxes that I have to dispose of. Got a coffee maker and then this other delivery. Delivery for days! So if you guys are interested, I do have a $30 off code for you guys in the description box below. So let's get to cooking! What do I do first? Preheat the oven. So if you're like me, AKA an Asian, or you live in New York City, you'll know that the oven is another place to store all your other hundreds of pots and pans. There's literally no space. Basically the life of a New Yorker is that you have no space, no time, no life. Yay! Let's all move to New York City! Oh, honey. Ready to watch my knife skills? Let's just go about it like this. You'll either witness a really delicious dinner or I've lost a finger. <laughs> Why I got home so late, well not really got home so late, but I went and got this like painful ass, what do you call it, like a cupping thing. So this was actually done on my body because it's part of this video that I'm making. And let me just show you the situation that is my back. We'll leave that till after the food because you might be put off after seeing it. Mince the cilantro, or as we call it in Ozland, it's coriander. Honestly, it's like the freshest thing I've had for probably a week. Start the filling. I was supposed to put the bell pepper in with the beef and I put it in with the tomatoes. It's okay, it's all going in the same place. I'm so excited, this looks so good. Look at the cheese oozing out. This looks so good. <laughs> so if you guys are interested, I actually have a discount code for you guys that'll get you $30 off. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's just because I'm really hungry or I feel like because I've accomplished something. This was so fun. I like how I don't have to go out and buy groceries because normally I have to go to like five different places. So guys, I think I'm going to just end it here for tonight. I'm just going to keep finishing this. Ooh, before I do that, let me just show you my back. Ready? If you have faint heart, look away. <laughs> so I did this thing called cupping, and this is what it looks like. Basically it has like suction cups that go onto the back, and it's Chinese traditional ways of healing and like remedies for if you have aches and pains and it was just more about learning about it. Little did I know what I was getting myself into. <laughs> so check out the link below if you guys are interested and I'm going to go tonight. Goodbye. Bing! Finding ourselves where we normally are. Okay, bye! going bare face today because life is a struggle sometimes. Getting a drink. Basically just an excuse to get out of the office. Meh. And... Bing! Delicious. I'm in bread heaven. Oh my god, look at these little sausages! So there's this Japanese cake shop. 
Yum, it's Japanese cheesecake. Oh my god, that's a chocolate. Should we get one? <laughs> it's milk ice cream. Is it ice cream? Try it. You took the best part. Mm. It's like McDonald's soft stuff. This is our first stop for drinks slash ice cream. But this friend has these like matcha and taro soft serve that are really good. <laughs> I have this peasant no flavor milk one and then you have this epic matcha taro with an orchid in it. I'm so basic. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look how pretty it is today! Oh my god, look at that guy dressed as something. Okay, let's go. It's so pretty today! So bright. So bright! So I got this cheesecake. It's not just for me, it's actually for the team because we got our video to 1 million views in 3 weeks, which I thought is pretty awesome. So just to boost some team morale, got some cake! Why does the street look so ghetto? Anyway, still in K-Town, going back to the office now. Ding, 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 ding. In exchange for the cheesecake. <laughs> it's so moist and soft. It's the purple sweet potato. How is it? Feliciosa says it's deliciosa. Wow. Hey, measures your shirt. Ben, do you like? I almost forgot about myself. Perfect. 